Hi all the viewers, now how do you guys deal with such a problem? Yeah, the wheel doesn't really want to spin freely and we can hear some friction uh, down there in the caliper brakes. So a friend of mine who brought his cube bike to our Kennedy studio was wasting a lot of energy on the trails because the braking pads are rubbing against the disc rotor. Now what would you do? What I did was to ask him, have you been experiencing this problem from the very beginning? He said, no, the brakes were okay. Uh, these are Hayes Stroker rides, uh, some basic but decent uh, brakes really. So I said, all right, we have to buy and, <laughs> and replace those braking pads. Uh, and so we did. We did purchase uh, braking pads, which just uh, arrived. Actually two pairs for front and wheel, because front wheel had the same problem. And then when I wanted to replace those, I discovered that the braking pads were okay. So it was my mistake, I should have checked the braking pads before. Uh, these are not worn down, so what's the problem here? The problem here is that when my friend was uh, just removing the wheels from the bike and then putting them back together, something sometimes uh, goes out of true. I know some guys who have to readjust the, those calipers after almost each, um, each time they put the bike into the car by removing the wheels and putting them back on. So that's sometimes the problem here. And I'm gonna show you just some very, very basic tip that most of us uh, would use, plus one that we often forget about. What we have to do, tip number one, is that we of course, um, we are loosening those mounting bolts just a little bit so that the caliper is able to be moving freely. And now we want to center this one against the disc rotor. How we do it, it's easy. We simply hit the uh, braking uh, lever. You can see that the caliper is moving now. So I'm just braking and I will keep uh, the brake with my left hand and now I'm just um, fastening those bolts. Uh, because while I'm braking, those braking pads are squeezing against the disc rotor and uh, those are just like truing the caliper against the, the rotor. And this method, this tip would work for most of the models, uh, sometimes perfectly, sometimes not. So, all right, uh, I'm not braking anymore and let's just see what happens. It's uh, much better, but it's not perfect. So if you wanna do it perfectly, the tip number two is uh, don't hesitate to, to readjust the caliper just by hand and by eye. How do we do it? Uh, you have to look at your uh, disc um, uh, rotor and you will see, as here, I'm hoping that you can see this, that um, there is more distance on the outer side than on the inner side between the disc rotor and the braking pads. So what I know is that the caliper should go a bit just to, to the inside. What I'm doing now, I'm doing it very, very gently. I will hold the caliper just like this and I'm loosening those bolts once more. And now we have to somehow move the caliper to the inside of the bike or to the right. Uh, I'm not moving in with the finger because you will just overdo it. What I do is to simple, simply use my, my um, Allen key and I'm hitting both left and right caliper because the caliper must be parallel to the, uh, to the uh, disc rotor, all right, so this is how it works. And now I'm looking from the back once more. Okay, I can see maybe I, I even went just a bit too far. Once more. Now it seems to be just perfect. So let's just fasten those bolts super gently so that nothing moves here. Okay, it moved. You can see that it moved while I was assembling it so that's it, it will be just different from for different uh, models but i can see that it's now almost perfect okay once more okay it's just fine uh, one thing is uh, uh, of course about the disc brake you have to make sure it is uh, true this one is just a little bit out of true i would say 90% of those disc uh, rotors are 
just a bit bit out of true uh, but it's like maybe I don't know half of millimeter millimeter and I can see that the distance from the left and, and right side is just the same uh, so it's done all right guys I'm back because I still wasn't quite happy with what I did but here now is just perfect so no rubbing whatsoever remember to maybe just break for a couple of times to see whether anything changes because you know those breaking pads everything can move a little bit but here I'm very happy that it works and I did it also for my front wheel my friend's front wheel which is working very very nicely so remember not only use uh, your braking lever to uh, center this caliper but also try to readjust it just like little by little with your hands and always look at this uh, distance between the rotor and the uh, caliper here to see it I would have to see from the back and to see it on the front wheel you have to see to look uh, from the front from the front for different calipers it will be different stuff but this problem is solved so let me know guys what tips do you have for the models of the brakes that you are using and i'd like to thank you for supporting my channel and watching this video see you soon bye bye